Welcome to the wide underworld of sports, brought to you by Gluttony, where Tantalus Tuesdays are back. Slide on down to the third circle today for a bottomless bounty of fruit and wine that shall ever remain just out of reach. Ooh, sounds frustrating. Now on to the action. It was an all-out soccer slugfest in Mega Health Day as the 12-in-1 took on a ragtag team of teens, feds, and demonic royalty. Head ref Lucifer the Morning Star was handing out red cards like it was Valentine's Day. But one player who escaped his attention, and everyone else's, was prodigal prince of hell, Hermie the Unworthy. In play after play, Hermie was left high and dry by his teammates, who seemed to forget he was even there. Let's check out the highlights. Marlo struggles to find opening. Hermie the Unworthy is wide open. Wait, no, she shoots. It's good. It's a goal. Looks like it's all up to me. Per usual. Another incredible save by Hermie. This kid's a wall. What, what's that down there? Looks like goalie Taylor Swift is dragging an unconscious legally Wilson back to the penalty box. That's the exact yeah. same spot where Hermie's already covering. Yeah. There. Finally, I'll get some defense back here. Normal Oak Garcia crawling towards Hermie the Unworthy. Looks like the team's clerk might throw a spell or two. Wait a moment! He crawls right past his teammate. What is he doing? He goes straight to the dead body of teammate Brad Schmeggen and tears him from the celestial embrace of the Almighty Father. Come on, Schmeggen, you're our only hope! Ace reporter Amelia Earhart is down on the field for a post-game interview with Hermie the Unworthy. Amelia. Do you guys remember who we wanted to talk to? Yes, it's me, Hermie, here for the interview. Was it Jody? It was Jody, I'm right? I'm literally standing right here. I'm waving to the camera right now. Somebody notice me! I'm notice sorry. Me. I'm drawing a blank. But you know what they say. If you don't remember, it probably wasn't important. Up next, more NFL stars are turning to Christ on their deathbeds. What does that mean for the upcoming Hell vs. Heaven Pro Bowl? Find out after this. 